What's up guys, welcome to session five of HS6. Uh, we're starting things off here on the knee extension. Um, and just a couple tips just to start things off here is going to be to pull yourself down into the seat and then once you reach the top, we're gonna pull that knee to that hip. And I left Alex's weight on there and it's way too light. All right guys, so the first movement on workout number five is going to be the deadlift. Now it's up to you whether you do the conventional or the sumo, she's beside herself. <laughs> the conventional or the sumo, we, we, met, we made someone mad. Um, so it's up to you what you choose, but I personally do the sumo deadlift, um, mainly because of the way my pelvis is set up, um, and I get greater range of motion there, so uh, in that sumo position. So uh, just a couple, key tips here, key points to keep in mind. Uh, how far you go out here is completely up to you again. It's at your discretion. It's wherever you're most comfortable. So where the bar is going to be is right above the knots on your shoes. About an inch away from your leg. And as we go down, the things we're thinking about is we're going to depress and retract our scapula to lock down our upper body. So we're not thinking in this movement, we're not thinking pulling as much as we are pushing through the floor. Pushing down and out through the floor. So, depress, retract our scapula, and we're pushing down through our quads. And we're gonna finish by using our glutes to bring the bar through. So it's almost like a glute bridge in a sense as well. There's a lot of people that you see that have this extension at the end of a deadlift and that doesn't really help you as much as bringing your glutes through the movement and leaving your back not extended. Um, so the risk of injury is gonna be a lot lower there as well and you're just gonna be able to pull a lot more by using your glutes. So take those tips um, I can some deadlifts. Alright, deadlifts are set up slightly different than you're normally probably used to doing them, so pay attention right here. So, what we're going to do is 10 total reps, but we're going to do one rep at a time with 30 seconds in between each rep. So it's just one set of 10, it looks kind of funky, um, but do one rep, wait 30 seconds, do another rep. It's easier if you have a partner at a time. Um, Alex is here to do that for me, and he'll be showing you when he starts the timer after my first breath.
Next movement is the hack squat. And just a few tips on the hack squat are gonna be um, foot placement, contact points, and intent through the platform while pushing out. So the first one is gonna be foot position. So the foot position is gonna be as low as possible on this platform to keep your quads biased, um, but where it's comfortable as well. So start out lower and kind of work your way up as you need to for your comfort level. So mine is about here with a slight outward facing toes. So. All right, the next tip is gonna be contact points. So the biggest contact point is gonna be your lower back. So we wanna make sure we have our lower back pressed up against this pad as hard as we possibly can. So your feet are gonna play a huge role in that as well. So keeping your feet and keeping your intent, your, the intent up on the platform, pushing up through the platform, um, is gonna help keep that contact point as well. So once we get this off, Keep that contact point in the lower back. Our feet are where we put them. Keep hard pressed up against the path. Track out with your knees. Get, stay in your active range. Keep tension on your quads. Drive up. We're driving our feet up this way through the platform. And the last tip that people really go wrong on, and I used to do it a lot, is especially when you fatigue, you start trying to press up and shrug up through this through this pad up here. Um, you don't want to do that. So keep the weight lighter until you get that down, but drive through the platform with intent up and keep the contact point on your lower back. So cluster sets, feeling froggy today. Um, I recorded this once, but I didn't have the mic on. So instead of hit, <laughs> instead of hit, I'm um, doing the cluster sets. So three sets of three, I stripped a plate, so I'm at four plates. Uh, so enjoy watching this. seconds in between.
We are finishing up here with Lying Light Girl. Alex is on there now. Uh, it's the end of the workout, workout five. Uh, give us a thumbs up, comment uh, below, and also give us a question for our new Q&A series. See you next time.